Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Michelle Nicole and I put makeup on my face and I open subscription boxes and that's about it. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I am so happy and so grateful for you to watch these. And so for today, okay, so I know I said I'm on a no buy and I am, I like, ColourPop has released so much shit, and I have wanted it all, but I have not bought any of it except for one thing. Like, it's just so hard. Recently, literally, I just got back two days ago from Pittsburgh. Our Pop Pop passed away, my kid's great-great-grandfather. And so, obviously, we had to go get some stuff while we're there. So... My brain immediately goes to the makeup aisles because it's like, oh, we're in a different city. Oh, I bet they have different makeup. Their Walmart was so freaking awesome, you guys. And just like my Walmart here and just about every other Walmart, they are redoing the makeup mods. I work for Walmart, so I know they're redoing them and bringing in the new stuff. So everything is heavily, heavily discounted. Like shit for 50 cents for two dollars for three bucks i got this neutrogena neutrogena sheer smooch lip oil that is pretty new like it came out pretty like i want to say september october of 2019 i got it for three bucks it's usually like eight bucks um, but I got some stuff, and I did order one thing from ColourPop, so you know they came out with the new sets, the Nude Mood and the Blush Crush. If they did not just release Coco Loco, and I didn't buy that, I would have bought Nude Mood. I like that one a lot more. I love Coco Loco, or Going Coconuts. I don't know why I say Coco Loco. That's the name of the lippy scrub that I have from them. Um, Coco Loco. Going Coconuts. I like Nude Mood way more. But between those two, Blush Crush spoke to me. So if you don't know, my favorite palette is Sweet Talk from ColourPop. It has the Super Shocks in it. And this one, mine came cracked so I had to repress it. I did already dip my fingers into it. It has that Super Shock right there and it is so beautiful so I'm really excited and it's in the cardboard packaging which is absolutely amazing you don't get a mirror but that's okay we have a million mirrors laying around so before I jump into it I want to know this is some other stuff I recently got that my husband bought for me I've only heard one other YouTuber talk about it. Her name is Babs Beauty. And she did a sponsored video with Walmart, so I think that's how she knew about it. This is a new beauty skincare line at Walmart. And it is completely, like, clean ingredients. Like, I'll show you. It's called Clean Beauty. C-L-E-E-N. This is the Rosehip Jelly Face Cleanser. Fucking obsessed. The ingredients are very good. Rosehip oil to improve skin tone and texture. Rose water to hydrate and brighten. Bladder rack seaweed for vitamins, minerals, and detoxify skin. I love that. This is the Clean Beauty Coconut Water Hibiscus Glow Mist. It is free of literally everything. The ingredients are great. It's vegan and cruelty free. And hydrating mist that conditions and tones for a healthy glow. Mist on a clean skin before moisturizing. Used throughout the day to refresh skin. So it has like coconut, coconut water. Cleanses, nourishes, and tones skin. Hibiscus, skin tone texture, rich in antioxidants. Sodium hyaluronate, skin hydrated by its ability to lock in moisture and witch hazel cleanses and tones skin. So I do use this after I get out the shower. I just spray it on 
and it feels so good. This is not one I use with makeup or anything. You probably could, but I just don't. And then these are the, oh, this is $6.97. This is $6.97. The most expensive thing they have is a papaya glow oil, and it's $9.97. Everything is under $10. These are the Clean Beauty Fragrance Free Face Wipes. Wipe away makeup, dirt, and oil from face and neck. All it has in it is aloe ingredients. Water, aloe leaf juice, glucosicide, ethyl glue, citric acid, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and fexin oil. It only has like five ingredients and two of those are amazing. But I am going to start off with one of these today. They are huge. Like this is just it folded. I'm going to cut it. I cut them in half and literally half of one of these takes off all my makeup. They smell like aloe because they're fragrance free. And my skin just feels a little gross. And I'm going to, my eyes are primed with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I'm gonna be trying a new primer today. So I just want my skin to be fresh. and hydrated I didn't think these were going to be as good at removing makeup as it said and they are okay so first off, oh, give me one second. I forgot something. Okay, so I went into <coughs> Forever 21 and I got, they were having a really good sale on a bunch of stuff. So I got these half off. This is the Sugar Leaf, did someone say bottomless deep hydrating face, facial oil, rose hip and vitamin B3 lightweight formula that deeply hydrates. There we go. It's by the brand Sweet Leaf. It was five bucks, usually $9.99. Smells like rose hip. I have not used that yet. I have other oils I want to finish. And then this one by Sugar Leaf. Stop and smell the rose. Refreshing face mist, rose water, and coconut. Daily moisture refreshes and nourishes skin. This one says it can be used as a primer or as a refresher or to set makeup. It was three bucks. And it's huge. I'm going to be using this along with another primer. So... Before we get into the um, the markdown stuff, the stuff I got on sale, I saw a commercial a few weeks ago for this new makeup brand that was coming to Walmart called In Studio, I N S T U D I O. And it says it wasn't supposed to be here for a couple months and nothing was going to be over a dollar. Everything was going to be a dollar and under. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. They had it in Pittsburgh. They had a whole stand and only one of these was a dollar. The rest was 50 cents. So this is the In-Studio Cosmetics Mascara. So just a little mascara. I did already look at, it's in black, I did already look at the wand, and a little nervous, this is what it looks like, seems like a thick formula though, it's just a little tree shaped wand, there are no claims on it or anything, we have the In Studio Brow Gel, and this is in medium brown, they only had blonde, medium brown, and black, a lot of the stuff was gone, so, yeah. It has a 
super tiny wand and you do have to wipe off like a lot of the product it's thick but it deposits way too much at once It's just a very, it's not a super runny and wet formula. It's just a little wetter than what I like, but for 50 cents, I mean, you can't really beat it. Just wipe off the tip, you know? So I got that. This is the In Studio Matte Lip Cream, and this is in Vintage Petal. It's just a brownie, pinky nude. I will say, has a very Play-Doh-y chemically scent, but it's just a really pretty mauve, and it does stay like this is a baby wipe, not a makeup wipe. I'm sure. Yeah, I took a shower with a swatch of this on me the other day, and it stayed. And then this was the In Studio Cosmetics Bronzer. This was the only one left. They did have other ones, but this was the only one left. This is, is in Miami, and this was 50 cents as well. It's just a little bronzer. The color looks pretty good. It looks like a nice warm bronzer. I like warm. Okay, so this was not on sale. I bought this full price. I bought this because of Tati, the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. And the only shade they had close enough to me was Creamy Natural. So that's the one I got. And I think it's going to work. And hey, look, I don't need a Blendiful because I got a CoverGirl Blendiful. People have been using these for years, so I guess she was on to something. But I want to use that today. Then we have this I paid full, these next two I paid full, okay, these next three I paid full price for. These are the Maybelline Cheek Heats. These are their new gel cream blush. I got mine in Nude Burn. Looked very intriguing. So it comes in a little tube. I have not looked. I'm going to swatch it on the hand without a tattoo. I'm going to swatch it on the hand with cat scratches all over it. Hello? Anybody home? There it comes. Looks like that. Okay, so it is like a jelly, gel texture. Okay, so it shears way out. That's a really pretty color though. Very sheer. No smell. Now this I did wear, I wore it to the funeral. Um, this is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and I got mine in Trust Your Gut. It's like a cool toned, mauve nude. Pretty similar to the other one, but actually very similar. I am obsessed. Obsessed. I want one in every color. Okay, now this one's a little bit deeper. 
They're kind of the exact same though. You know, see what colors I go for. Then the next thing I paid full price to is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I got mine in vanilla. I have not used this yet. I just squeezed some up to look at the color. And I am pretty sure it's going to work. It's very yellow. But they were like so sold out. I am very yellow toned. So I can make it work. Okay. Now on to this. So my favorite primer is the L'Oreal Visible, Visible Lift Hydrating Serum in number 100. It's in a pearly pink tube. They had all of the Visible Lift Luminous Serum tint, tints, like T-I-N-T, -T, that leaves a tint, on sale for 5 bucks, And they're normally 13 and I got mine in 802 Rose. They had 801 Pearl, 802 Rose, 803 Amber, and 804 was a deeper bronze. I think it was called bronze. But this is in Rose, which is like a bronzy rose gold. Very pretty. Very pretty. I'm hoping it's going to be hot. It feels hydrating like the other one. So I'm very nourishing moisture for your skin with a touch of illuminate color. So yeah, I think it's what I love just with a tint. That's what I'm hoping. You guys, I want to use this so bad today because I love the way it looks. The skin milk, I have a review on it. But it has these foamy little balls all in it. I don't know why. I think I got a defective one. I'm so upset. I'm going to have to buy another one. This was $5. The Cover CoverGirl Simply Ages, Ageless Full Coverage Advanced Concealer with Hyaluronic and Vitamin C. These were on sale for 5 bucks. Another one that has a little poofy ball on it. And um, this color might actually be a little bit better. It's pretty yellow too. It is in the shade 320 light. So we might use some of that. I don't know yet. Then I got this Stay Satin Liquid Lip from Rimmel for 50 cents. It is in the shade Glam Rock. It is a deep grayish teal green probably won't use that today but i'm so happy to have it i got this alme conceal skin perfecting concealer for three dollars and i the only one they had left was in medium that was close enough to my skin tone it's a little deep but it's almost like a peachy color corrector as you can see i love concealers and then the last thing which i'm freaking out about they had the new Physicians Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzers and Highlight Sticks for four bucks. I didn't get the highlight and they didn't have the blushes. So yeah, I didn't pick up any of the highlights they had. I wish they had the cream blushes there, but they didn't for some reason. But four bucks. These were nine, ten bucks, so a little more than half off. I am so freaking excited. I have wanted to try this <clears throat> for so long. Physicians Formula's website, it's like 12 or 13. Yeah, it's like 12.99 or something like that. I know it was way too much for a stick bronzer when I have mine or stick contour or whatever bronzer sculpting bronzer. When I have my 298 one from Wet and Wild um, and a one or a two dollar one from Jordana that I love, but I really, really wanted to try this. So four bucks was awesome. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's all the stuff I'm gonna be playing with today. I heard a lot of people compare this to the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick Bronzer thing. That's the color. 
right there. It looks perfect. I'm so excited. So excited. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start off by priming my skin. Then we'll jump into eyes. So this is the Visible Lift in 802 Rose. has a very light scent. messed up my eyebrows so it doesn't feel as hydrating as um, the other one that I like this would be pretty to wear on its own This would be really pretty to wear on its own, but I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this hydrate, this sweet leaf. still being called in for federal juror duty I don't understand it so like they've been calling me since December 9th and they sent me the packet they actually sent it to my old address and so I finally got it at my new one and I was freaking out because it was way past the date when I was supposed to call and so I called and luckily I did not have to report First of all, it's not regular juror duty, juror duty, it's federal juror duty. You can go to jail or pay like a $100,000 fine. Luckily, the first time I called, I did not have to report. And I sent them a letter back with the packet saying, how the hell did I even get fucking chosen for this? How can someone with a record and a past be chosen to be a juror? I'm like... You don't want me as a juror. I'm going to say everyone's guilty. I'm going to freak out just to try to get them not to choose me. But luckily when I called, I didn't have to go. And there's like a nine-week period where you can get called in. This happened like two and a half weeks ago, so I thought I was in the clear. They're calling again. So I have to call back and like see what they want me to do. So I'm freaking out a little bit. Like, I got three kids. I can't do jury duty. Like, I can't. How? What are you going to do with my children? Okay, let's see. They left a voicemail. Sorry. Quick intermission. At this time, you are no longer required to report as previously and do not need to check in. Oh!
Hello, this call is from the Jury Office of the United States District Court. You have completed your jury service at this time. You are no longer required to report as previously directed and do not need to check for any further instructions. We appreciate you serving as a juror for the United States District Court. Yes! Okay. No longer freaking out. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm losing all my light and I am just talking and talking and talking. And is the light better right here? You can see my wall. Okay. Let's get started. I love this spray. I would not necessarily use this as a primer. I would just use that by itself. It's not as hydrating as the other one. Okay, so this is Blush Crush. Oh, it's so beautiful. It has so many of the sequin shades. I will just do a couple swatches. Look at that. That's one of the sequin shades. All the glitter stuck to my finger. My fingers are still wet. That's another one of the sequin shades. Look how pretty. I love those sequin shades so much. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to take my Morphe M532 to start. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to zoom through this part.
Okay, so I, this shade right here, the lightest shade in the palette, is a lot more peachy than it looks in the pan. It's a very nice transition shade. Then I went in with Made You Blush, and then Cheek to Cheek, and then I went in with How Rouge, and then blush wine as this shade right here is stunning and this one they all are and then i went in with enamored all over the lid and then i wet it so peachy so beautiful and then i tapped the super shock pop a bottle on top i am obsessed with this palette obsessed okay so I recently learned a trick to take whatever primer To take whatever primer you're using on a cotton pad and clean up your eyeshadow fallout that way. So then you're not getting rid of any of the primer that you just used. That a makeup artist, like a legit makeup artist, not an influencer, that I was um, watching... that I've started watching on YouTube said to do that and I was like that is genius so instead of priming your skin then doing your eyes and having fallout and then just wiping that away and having to reapply more product and wait for it to sink in just use a cotton pad with your primer you used on it and wipe it away That is absolutely gorgeous. What eyeliner do I want to use? I think it's going to be between these ones. Okay. Koki Bronzed ColourPop Crybaby or ColourPop Honey Dude? I'm going to go with Honey Dude, of course.
Maybe I'll put a little bit of Koki bronzed on the outer. Sorry guys, when I'm in the process of doing my makeup, I just end up thinking of stuff that I want to do and then I get sidetracked and I start doing it. Let's go in with the NYX Born to Glow. I am so excited for this Radiant Concealer. Sign me up. So it has a little poof ball. Most of the time, All I wear is concealer, so this is not out of the norm for me to just put on concealer. part of my face when I realized I had other cream products to use. So I'm just going to spray my face real quick. God, that's the only thing about this. It, the sprayer leaks really bad. Okay, as for this concealer, Radiant Concealer, let me look up real quick. NYX Born to Glow Concealer, or let me just go to Ulta so I can read the claims on this. I, 
I should have got light. No. No, vanilla. I either should have got alabaster or vanilla or both. Okay. Carefully collaborate and match the shades of the Born to Glow. Is a micro pearl infused illuminated concealer that blurs imperfections, adding instant radiant, radiance, brightening the appearance of dull complexion. This built in puff allows you quick, precise, no fuss application and lets you dab, blend, and beautifully on the go. Customizable coverage. Okay, so you saw I did a couple dots under each eye. A line down my nose, some around my nose, and on my chin and on my forehead. It is completely full coverage, like just on that little bit. Like my skin still looks like skin. No creases like other concealers usually give me. That shit is gorgeous. I am obsessed with that concealer. I don't know. How much of this I need. So, I'm going to start out with that much on this side. And I did have powder on my nose. But... I did spray it with setting spray. forget that I have cream products that Okay, I'm just putting this all over. That is life changing. I am obsessed. Look at how beautiful that is. It doesn't feel sticky either. Okay, so this 
cheek heat blush. I'm going to start by squirting a pile on my hand, a turd. I'm going to Where's my sponge? Okay, I might have messed it up. Hold, please. Where's my... So, on this side... Okay, so that stuff, at least on me, cannot go over powder. On me, anyway. Sorry. It's beautiful, but I accidentally powdered first. That was my fault. Okay, so I'm just going to powder over this. Oh, I forgot to say, this cover girl Advanced Radiance Powder. I love this. I don't always love everything Tati recommends, but I love this. Let me look at my you know what? Powdering it actually helped it a lot. It still looks a little funky in some areas, but <clears throat> I'm going to take Pop a Bottle from the Blush Crush palette, which is the Super Shock shade. Whoops. My stomach is so messed up. My husband has bowling on Tuesdays. So usually the kids and I just cook a like frozen pizza. But I was like, you know what? We got to go pick. Ella up from club. We're going to be out later, so let's just get... The kids want McDonald's. Ella and I want Subway. Then Ella and I wanted egg rolls. So we got McDonald's, Subway, and egg rolls. And those all don't mix very well together. That in the inner corner is just like my Sweet Talk shade.
so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try the. I think this cheek heat blush and the bronzer are gonna be so beautiful when I don't powder. So real quick, I want to put on a little bit of. So this is the in studio bronzer in Miami. Let's test this guy out. Very powdery. Kind of scared. I'm using a duo fiber brush because hopefully Okay, so it's pretty. Very, very warm, but still pretty. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, that's not bad. A 50 cent bronzer? Fuck yeah. So I don't think I had any new highlights, so I'm just going to use my champagne pop by Becca real quick. So... Okay, and I'm going to go over this blush with I Need Space from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. It's actually like a pretty close color. Like pretty much exact match. So if you need a powder to set nude burn from Maybelline. I need space from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop is like an exact match. Oh, my foot is falling asleep and I'm losing like everything. How do brushes just disappear? Hello? Where did you go, sir? Oh, it was right there. I'm going to spray my face real quick. And then we will put on mascara. As much as I want to use the Maybelline Superstay ink, I think this one's going to match way more. So... I have to say, other than fucking up using that cream stuff on top of blush, on top of powder, I am obsessed with that concealer. Absolutely in love. That is um, very brown.
The wand is very little and very stiff. I do, did not bring a lip liner down here. I have to say, I love this color. Not so much the formula. Let's try this In Beauty Mascara before my... Okay, I don't have very high hopes for this because I mean, come on. I legit need to add some gloss. This color is pretty. But it is so drying. I just added in lip oil, which probably isn't the best, but... Okay, so this is... This 50 cent... Or no, this was a dollar. In Beauty Mascara. It... If you're just going out the door and you need something real quick just to blacken up your lash line, close the door. Okay, no toy. Then it's perfect. But not when you're trying to add. That is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, and this is the In Beauty with some CoverGirl. I really liked putting my lashes to the side like this. I think it makes them look a little bit more like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to add a little bit of cheek to cheek. Always comes out way better than the other. This eye always comes out way better. And then, what is the last step? I feel like I'm missing. Nope, that was it. That was everything. This is the finished look using the new. Blush Crush from ColourPop. I am obsessed with this palette. And my favorite concealers right now are the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Concealer and the new L'Oreal Age Perfect Hydrating Serum Concealer. This is right up there with them. Those three, the L'Oreal, the NYX, and the J-Cap. Obsessed. Obsessed. Um, the cream products, fucking love. Fucking love. The bronzer from Physicians Formula, the bronzing stick. Oh, so happy to have that. I, I love everything. I'll have to try this in another video with this dark lip. Oh, I love this color. And yeah, I'm going to lighten up this lip a little bit actually. I 
There we go. A little bit of pink really ties it in. Okay, my camera's about to die again. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out your Walmart and look at all the stuff that they have marked down. It is absolutely amazing. And I will see you in my next one.